JJ Duval, Mayor Ratcliffe, and unfortunately we had a little rain today on Ratcliffe Days, but as soon as it breaks, we're going to move forward with our festival and our egg eating competition, and we are going to break a world record here today in Ratcliffe. My name is George Shea. I am chairman of Major League Eating, and we are here. Rain or shine. We are holding the Egg Championship. Snow or sleet, we are holding the Egg Championship. Apocalypse, we will hold the Egg Championship. We're about to go. It's go time. This is the World Egg Championship. Beside me is the man. This is the guy you see at Nathan's Hot Dogs, the chairman of Major League Eating, the man that runs around, the man with the hat. George. Oh, before I go, George, see, you're supposed to remind me. The sponsors. We couldn't do it without our sponsors. I'm not going to go through and name it because we're going to get this thing going. You see who the sponsors are. We couldn't do it without Colton. Quixie, everybody that's up there, George, light them up. Chapter yeah, tip number one. Be messy. I think it's been rainy. But we're gonna go. Hit number one if you can, Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, Rad Cliff Days. There is nowhere I would rather be than here, even in the rain. And it doesn't matter if it rains, but we are holding the world and eating championship of the world. The rain has put out the sound. Typically, I have music for everybody. But we are not going to slow down. We are not going to do this in, in an hour. We are going to do this now. Colton Steakhouse and Grill, thank you. Fort Knox, Radcliffe Tourism, thank you. WQXC, Holiday Inn Express, Goodman Farms, Alpine House, thank you all for being great sponsors. Are you ready to go?
next eater is a member of the U.S. Army, a specialist. He is from down south here with you, resident of Georgia. He has dedicated his career in competitive eating to all of his comrades in arms, and his saying is simple. Freedom, I've got your six. Let me hear it for Ronnie Hunter! Our next eater was pushed out of regulation eating in 2005 over suspicions that he was sharpening his insider. But through an agreement with Major League Eating, he is now back on the circuit and ready to go. He's known as the Shredder because he rips and shreds his food. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hear it for Tracy. Good. A slender young man, 21 years of age. He lives in San Jose, the hometown of the great Joey Chestnut. And as a youth, he looked at Joey and he watched the videos on YouTube. And he said to himself, one day I will be him. And so it was. In the contest where Joey first established his name, the Asparagus Eating Championship of the World, this past year, this young man beat the great Joey Chestnut. Let me hear it from Matthew Stoney, the Megatone! Yeah. Rocking, rocking the beaver cut. He's got the beaver cut. Now, imagine 
the synthesizer in Baba O'Reilly because that is his song. And he comes out the door when we say the words, out here in the fields we fight for our meals. And so he does. Once in every ten generations a hero rises to lead a broken nation to victory, my friends. And so before you come such a man right now, our nation endured six long years of darkness when our honor was taken away by men from foreign nations. Until this young boy looked east from San Jose and he said, I can win and restore our honor. And so he did. He beat Takiro Kobayashi of Japan and then he beat him again. And he beat him again. And he beat him again until he ran like a little child of fear.
Joey kept it now. I strike that back. Joey, Joey had eaten Joey, 40 Joey, eggs Joey, in two minutes. Joey, and Sonia Thomas are, are among the most fierce competitors I have ever seen. Right now, if my calculation is right, Mickey Sudo has Come eaten on, four 12-egg plates, or 48 eggs. It, it appears that she will break the 60-minute mark before we are halfway through this contest. This is extraordinary. I personally said that we might be in the 90 to 100 egg range. I, I bet my, my reputation on it. It seems that that will go down well before this contest is over. History is being made here today. That is all I can say. Joey, I just go out and put him right for Joey. And also, Mickey Sudo's gonna need another plate, and I need, Matt Stoney needs a plate. Let's keep two plates there, gang. Yeah, let's, let's keep them. That's right. Wait a second, Matt Stoney, here's the problem with putting such a great competitor a little bit away from the center of the table. You lose track. He has eaten six, 12, he has broken the world record! Matt Stoney. Exactly. Matt Stoney yeah. now is in the lead. No Joey Chestnut right there with him. It is so hard to pass. Yeah. 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 is leading the peg here today.
you know, it, so, you know, I was hoping for first, but uh, I did good, Joey did good, we both pushed it, I'm feeling right now. But. What does it feel like going into today's competition? What did you do? What was your strategy? Um, you know, I do this stuff, like, I do contests all over the country, so I'm kind of used to it, but for this contest, I got some eggs and ate them, so I'm really good at uh, getting up there, getting psyched up. What about the hard-billed eggs? Is that something that you enjoy? Bad, you know, I'm not a fan of the fatty juice and stuff, so the hard boiled eggs are nice. They're, they're rough to eat because it's like really dry and everything, but it wasn't bad. It's, the rain was worse. The rain was worse than the eggs today. I'm going to say, if, if the rain hadn't been there, you think you could have done it maybe? Uh, Joey's a great competitor. Uh, he brought it today. He's good. But so. well, you still got a world record today. Yeah, no, yeah. both of us. Yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations. All right, local, local hometown hero, Nick. All right, what was your strategy going into today? Eat. I don't know. I didn't really have one. Now, how many did you, what was your final total? I got two dozen. Two dozen. All right. So, was it easier than the wings last weekend? No. It's a very heavy thing. Okay. All right. But you did well proud. We, you did us proud. We appreciate that. Nice showing, I guess. <laughs> I, I felt like I witnessed history today. I felt like I was there when something important happened. Uh, a new world record, 141 eggs, but it was more than that. The weather didn't cooperate, but the people didn't care, the champions didn't care. That's why it's so important. Okay, great. Do you enjoy your time in Radcliffe, Kentucky? I love Radcliffe, Kentucky. And as a boy, I always fantasize about going to Kentucky because I watched Daniel Boone. And I've never been. And I came down here and I said, this is what I wanted. The hills, the beauty, great town. Okay. How was it today? It was the best meal I've had all day. <laughs> now, what was your strategy? Um, not to throw up, and I almost didn't make that strategy. Yeah, and what was your total? Um, not enough. Not enough. Not, not enough. 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 Okay. Now, now, was your beard collecting any of the Pause. eggs? I, this thing is disgusting. I, I'm a mess. There was all the beard. It was everywhere. It was in my nose. Congratulations. That was, that was wrong. That was really wrong. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. I feel great. Uh, it was an awesome contest. Great crowd. Can't wait for next year. What was your uh, strategy going into today? Just get into a rhythm. Just keep eating, keep swallowing, just have fun. Had you ever done hard boiled eggs before? Never in a contest. So, how did, was this an easier day uh, with all the sauce yeah, and it stuff? Was, it was kind of an easy one. Uh, I, I, the eggs are, it, it's a pretty simple flavor. Uh, everybody eats eggs since they're a child, so uh, it's just a matter of getting into a rhythm and uh, just, just go, going, getting used to the eggs, the taste of the eggs. So, I practiced a little bit and I got used to the taste of the eggs. And how do you, what do you think about Radcliffe? It's really uh, nice when it does awesome, rain. Awesome little place. It's so beautiful and the people are awesome and I just can't wait to get back. Okay, good luck. Thank, Thank you for a great show. That trophy was, I didn't know if I could complete it or not. We, we searched every dollar store, every store we could possibly think of trying to find an egg for that trophy. It was the third idea we finally pulled it together. Thank you to the people at the Hardin County Habitat Restore. They came through, they found the egg that I needed, which put the trophy over the top. Mayor Duval came to me on a Wednesday, so we basically got that trophy together in less than 48 hours. Well, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. How did you feel about today's competition? I thought the competition was great. I wish the uh, weather would have held out for us. We found all our uh, wet spots in the park. <laughs> Hopefully everybody will be able to get out of the parking lot today. Don't make too much trying to get through the grass. Uh, that was a wonderful thing. I wish we could have had more people here. The weather would have been better. I think we brought it. Uh, it was great to set a world record here in Rackley. Awesome. They love the town. I was going to say, a number of them. Yeah. And it was a great crowd. Great, great event today, right? Now, has that kind of tested, tested your taste buds? Do you want some boiled eggs anytime no. soon? <laughs> no, I never again. <laughs> J Trout wine strategy: eat and not throw up. I was gonna say, and you stay dry. And I was stay gonna dry. say, you're a little tall here. Does that help in your eating competitions? Not enough for these. Not enough for these beasts today. They're now, incredible. How many eggs did you eat total? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah, now, so did the water help? Did the rain help? Uh, everything helped. 
everything else. I'm glad I got through it. It was a great day. I'm sure you've been to Radcliffe before. Yes, ma'am. And what do you think of Radcliffe's uh, day in the park today? It's a wonderful day in the park. A little bit wet, but it was awesome crowd out there.